So what's it like playing Stadia on the LG C2 OLED? Well, the cool thing about LG C2 is the fact that the application, it's already built in inside the TV. So all you just need is your subscription, username and a password, and of course a uh, controller with a USB-C to USB cable to plug it in the back and uh, you just need to turn on the internet and you're good to go and you can enjoy all of your uh, Stadia games currently I'm playing a uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and uh, it looks good runs great by the way all of the games on uh, Stadia are 4k HDR so it doesn't matter uh, which game you're playing they're all HDR compressed and they support HDR let's try uh, a different type of game and one of the things that are so unique about Stadia and LG television is the fact that it's a very convenient way to play. Now, if you could look aside the elephant in the room that Stadia, it's a stalemate service. We really don't know what's going to happen to the service. It's not moving anywhere. No one's really talking about uh, any roadmap or anything like that. So we really don't know. Stadia, it's like a stalemate right now. But if you could overlook that, if you could kind of turn the blind eye on that and look at technology and this innovation that Stadia has proven to us that it will be the future, then you can see clearly that this is the convenient way to play, right? I can go ahead and start playing Cyberpunk right now, just click on it, and I'm good to go. Just like that. Don't have to wait for any downloads, don't have to wait for anything. Click and play right away, just like that. A very convenient way to play. And here we are, just like that. Don't have to wait for any downloads, any uploads, any updates, everything is there. Click and play right away. Conveniently. And I think honestly this is what people want. You know, you have a hard long day at work, you're stressed out. You just want to come home, play some video games, right? Watch some movies, watch your favorite TV shows and maybe your favorite YouTubers or whatever. Listen to a podcast. Guess what? Now you can do all of that, including gaming. Don't have to worry about buying a super expensive console or a super expensive PC to, to build it. You can just go ahead, turn on your TV. You just need a TV and the internet and you are good to go. TV and the internet and of course, pick and choose which, what, which type of controller you want to plug into. And uh, enjoy. That's the caveat here. That's, that's the future, guys. Now, the only thing that sucks about Stadia, as I said before, is the fact that it's not a subscription service. Yes, they do have a subscription called Pro, Stadia Pro, but you're not getting any heavy hitters. You're not getting any, like, games that you could say, oh, my God, you know, like a Spider-Man or God of War or something like that something heavy hitters like a call of duty right but having said that technology it works all right regardless of what i think of stadia as a service regardless of that technology works and that's that's the point here Now, I should remind you that every single game here 
from this app that's built inside the LG C2. And it's also available on the C1. It's 4K HDR. Every single one of those is 4K HDR. And that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's uh, play some Saints Row. Even the Saints Row the Third remastered, it's in high dynamic range. Now, as far as Amazon Luna, I don't know. I haven't tested it yet, which is going to be my next video to test Amazon Luna to see how it works with the C2. Now, with the Amazon Luna, you're going to need a Fire Cube or a Fire Stick. Amazon Fire Cube or Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, try the Saints Row the Third. Now keep in mind, my controller is connected to the back of the uh, the USB of this TV. Here we go. Saints Row the Third. Here we go. Here we go. Four K HDR looks amazing. You gotta remember something, man. Not only are you getting uh, Stadia included in here, but at the same time, you are getting a twenty percent brighter HDR OLED and. Stadia supports 4K HDR. So this C2, it's a perfect companion for your Stadia. If you're a Stadia fanboy, this LG C2 42 inch, it's a no brainer. Uh, I, I would like highly recommend it. HDR on this uh, on this television on the C2 is truly something you guys have to see to believe it. And I'm not exaggerating uh, when I when I say that. I mean I mean really. This TV has impressed me so much. It has impressed me with all of the features and varieties that are available. I like having variety, man, of options. Because I'm all about that. I'm all about variety, having choices, you know. That's what I'm all about. And so far, LG has been delivering on that. Big time. Can't wait to play Saints Row uh, <laughs> uh, on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I will check out the Amazon Fire Cube because I know you guys been asking me about. Hey, could you check out the Amazon Fire Cube on the LG C2? I will. Uh, for the Luna to to show you how Amazon Luna runs on it. So far, I'm impressed with uh, the way Stadia runs on it, on the uh, the C2. Let me change a different weapon. Oh my god. He's like a Terminator, dude. There we go. Inside the elevator, everybody. 
Come on. I mean, just look how easily I can exit out of the game and, and start playing something else. I just played Cyberpunk, Jedi, Fallen Order, uh, FIFA. I played Saints Row Remastered. Uh, I can play Far Cry 6 right now if I wanted to really quick. The convenience... The reason I kept saying that this is going to be the future is because this is the uh, convenient way to play, guys. Okay? This will be the convenient way to play. And you will want to play like this in the future. This is what people want. They don't want to wait for downloads or, or updates or get an, an additional hard drive. No. They want to have everything in the click of a button. That's the generations we're in right now click of a button they want everything and quite frankly so do i here i'll jump into far cry 6 just like that no need for a console there we go far cry 6 start a new game voila and of course 4K HDR, same thing. Looks amazing. Actually, I'm actually quite impressed the way uh, Stadia has uh, partnered up with the LG and the way they integrated the uh, Stadia LG application with the uh, LG television. Now it also depends on your internet, you know, if you got a laggy connection, then of course, that's going to suck. People say, but what about the internet connection? Well, come on, man. I mean, internet's getting better and better. Let, let's be honest, dude. Even the uh, cellular internet uh, is getting better and better. You know, can, internet, it's advancing sure of course there's a bunch of loopholes here and there where it's not convenient but over time you know it's going to get better and better and better i firmly believe that you know Look at this HDR, oh my God, it looks fantastic. The fact that you don't need a PC or a console to enjoy something like this, to play it right now, uh, dude, it's pretty convenient. If I was like somebody who was looking to save a bunch of money and just like uh, enjoy movies and stuff and video games in a more convenient way this would be it for me man honestly what i mean by that like if i didn't have to buy a console if i didn't have to build a pc with these ridiculously expensive cards right i think i could easily see myself like uh playing like this easily so, what can I tell you, man? I don't want to butcher this video any more than it needs to be. It's 15 minutes. Uh, runs great on the LG C2. Uh, it supports 4K HDR. You connect your controller from the USB-C to the USB. Works like that. Um, and like I said, this will be the future, guys. This will be the future. There's 
There's no question about that. Granite Stadia, currently it's a stalemate, and uh, we don't really know what's going to happen to Stadia. But put that aside, if you could overlook that elf in the room, yes, Stadia as a service, it's not where it needs to be. But the one thing we have learned from Stadia is that technology, it's future-proof. And I'll just leave it at that. Technology, it's future-proof. And you're looking at it right now on this video. Well, that's all I have for you guys. And this is LG C2, as you can see right here. So, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching.